Welcome to day 30 of my 100 days of Wafla journey. Today is a milestone. So today we're going to learn how to connect a custom domain to your Wafla website and get it published on your www domain. Today's tutorial is related to Google domain. So I'm going to showcase how you connect your Google domain, but the steps are universal. So it's the same steps. You just connect some codes between your domain register and your Wafla website. So without further ado, let's jump to it. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Wafla journey by turning on that notification bell so that you can see the videos that I post every day. And let's go. Okay, so first things first, this is our newly built website. Now I've been building this over the past two or three episodes. Uh, so if you wanna see how I build this, go watch those episodes. Now what I want is to publish this. Now I made sure everything is working, all the buttons. Uh, if the page is not there, it just says page under construction. So this is what I want. Now I want to publish this on my custom domain, which is levelflow.io. So I can go here where it says publish and then click on add a custom domain, or I can go on my page settings or on site settings, sorry, and then go to publishing and then this is the same place basically. Now, if you have a site plan, uh, if you don't have a site plan, this section will prompt you to purchase a site plan. If you have a site plan, you're gonna see this button where it says add a custom domain. So you click on that button and here it will say add an existing domain. Now, if you have an existing domain, this is where you add it. If you wanna buy a new domain, you just go to GoDaddy and buy it. Or uh, yeah, it's just GoDaddy now. I remember it had uh, Google domains as well. But anyways, uh, so we add an existing domain. Now I'm gonna write levelflow.io. I will add this domain. Now it's gonna create two sections or two records for me. One is levelflow.io and one is www.levelflow.io. So we'll need both these records. Now first, let's connect the levelflow.io now what we need to do is we need to go on our domain place. Now in my case, it's Google domains. I go to the domain I wanna connect. So it's levelflow.io and then you'll go to a DNS tab. Now, whatever register you're using, whatever domain register, whether it's Google domain, GoDaddy, uh, whatever, Namecheap, any, any of those uh, you know, platforms, it will have a DNS settings, a DNS tab, a DNS page, something with DNS, so you go there and then you go to the record section where it says records, custom records, um, you know, something records, it will say records. So you go to custom records and then here is where we're gonna add the data. So we'll copy, uh, the first one is a type A, the name is at, and then this is the value. So we, we just click here, it copies this to clipboard. So we go back to Google domains now here, the host name will be at. Now I think in this case, we will not need the at because this is automatic. So host name is at type A. This timeline is one hour, so 3,600, just leave it as it is. And the data is this uh, record. Now we can click save. Uh, yeah, so we can leave this empty since it's automatic. Uh, we can click save. Now, as far as I know, this is enough, but we'll also add the, the other part of the register. So we'll add this value as well. So in Google domain case, we'll just say add more to this record, but in any other case, we will need to add a new record. Now, if I add it here as a new record, it will prompt me to replace the old one. So here you just need to add it as the existing record. So let's delete this. So we'll have two datas. Now this is added. Now I will need to check if it's connected to my website. So I will go back to my level flow website. Now I see it's already connected. If I check status, uh, it's already connected. This has been super fast, but it can take up to, as it says, it can take up to 48 hours. I think that's what it says. Well, that's the rule. It can take up to 48 hours, but it never took me more than, you know, a few minutes to connect any domain. 
so yeah, so now this is connected. Uh, check status, it says connected, so I can close this one. So levelflow.io is connected. Now we'll need to connect www.levelflow.io. So what we'll need to create is another record that is now CNAME and that has a name of www type C name and the value is this. So I will go to my custom domains. I will manage custom records, create a new record. So this one will have the name of www and then the type will be C name and then we'll have this value which is prox proxy ssl.webflow.com and then we save this And now we have these two records. One is type A, one is C name. Uh, we'll go back to our website. We'll check status. Now see this is taking longer. Everything's connected. Okay, it's connected. I just refreshed. Okay, so now both of them are connected. Now what I need to do is make sure that the www one is the default one because uh, now, if someone goes and types levelflow.io, it takes them to www because that's the default one. And someone, if, if someone types www, of course, they will go there. So just make sure to set this as default and that it says default here. And now we can go to publish where it says publish and just click on levelflow.io. So now right now it's not published and then publish to selected domains. Now, this is going to take a few seconds. And then when we go to levelflow.io, this is the website I have. So great news. My website is now live. Now, one last thing, uh, since we have a staging domain, now you can unpublish the staging domain if you want. Back in the days, it used to be a problem. So it will be it, it was a good choice to unpublish this once you have your custom domain there. Uh, so that Google doesn't index both. But now uh, Webflow has given you the option of in disabling the index. So now indexing of the Webflow domain. So the Webflow.io domain is enabled. So I'm just going to click here and make sure it's disabled. So Google will only read Levelflow.io. It will not read Levelflow.webflow.com or .io. So we save this change. Now this is published. Now this link is only for staging purposes. Uh, I just use it to see changes to test out new things. And this will be my main link, which I'll be using. So this is level And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, also, one more thing, you can auto generate a sitemap. Now Webflow gives you this option. So you can just go here to sitemaps, click on auto generate save changes. Now this is good for your SEO purposes. It's it auto generates a sitemap so that Google knows the pages that it's on or Google knows the pages that you have and it's better for indexing purposes, better for, you know, the search results and all the SEO stuff. I'm going to make an episode on SEO tools uh, probably in the next few days. So stay tuned on that. All right, so that's how you basically connect to your custom domain. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I taught you something today. Stay tuned on this 100 days of Webflow journey. A lot of cool stuff are coming on the way. A lot of nice tutorials. I'm going to be working a lot with AI, with cool animation libraries, and we're going to be enhancing level flow. I'm going to make nice clonables. So don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Turn on that notification bell so you see the videos on time whenever I post them so that you can stay updated. That's it for today. See you tomorrow.